Okay, hello there. I'm here with my modular. I thought that perhaps I should do a simple drone patch just to, yeah, for the fun of it, basically. So I take a saw wave, put it into a mixer, of course, because I need to have multiple waveforms from. I, I want to work with two oscillators because this way we'll get some. Uh, they will work together. Uh, I'll, so I'll patch just to, to listen to the waveform. This is the first waveform. I have some delay here in the octa track. I'll leave that up, but take that out. So now it's just the pure waveform from the ULFO. And then we'll take the other one from the Z3000. Doesn't sound very good, so we better tune this one. So now we get the pulsating drone patch, but we want it. Does it doesn't sound very good? I mean, it's a bit boring just to listen to to oscillators working like that. So we take it into a filter. It's the Z2040. Also tip-top module, I like them, because it's pretty clean filter. So this is the open filter. And then if we... So this is just a low-pass filter, and then some resonance. Yeah, sounds good, but we want a low-frequency oscillator to uh, frequency modulate the cutoff frequency. And so we take a, an LFO, and put it in here to the frequency modulation. Sounds pretty good. Now I get perhaps we should slow it down the tempo because we don't want it to be that. And then add some of that. We also could add some some <sighs> resonance. The resonance could go up and down. So let's take this one. It's a an L, uh, LFO as well. A simple one. But it sounds too much. It's just it sounds boring. So let's go to an attenuator. It's just lets us attenuate the signal. And so now we have. Now it's working pretty well, I think. It's a bit interesting going up and down. But what we want to do is we want to take this. Um, a pulse wave because we we're now working only with saw waveforms and so we take a one saw take out these oscillators now and take the pulse wave the wave from the first oscillator and the pulse of the other and so we get a rather it's the same but we'll pulse and so we take this low frequency oscillator, which also uh, takes care of the, the resonance of the filter. We take a multiplier and let let it uh, control the pulse width modulate uh, pulse width modulate the frequency of the saw. And so it sounds like this. Could slow it, and so it goes with the and then the other one as well. Now I'm only using yellow patch cords, perhaps not the most clever thing to do, but they happen to be around. And so the other now we'll have two the waves working together but they are, have the same pulse width modulation and so we get rather deep uh, kind of feel to it and then we take and add some of the <coughs> the saw waves sounds really good I think what we want to do is we take the out signal from the filter and because we want to do something more this is the 
out signal from the filter. It's yes, it's everything is modulated and so forth. And then we take it to multiple, and this is an analog delay. We have, have another one down there. So what I do is I take one of the multiplied signals, put it in there, to one of the the one of the analog delays, and we add take the multiplied signal and put it into the other one. So now we have it going um, through two different analog delays. We'll patch it up so that one of the analog delays goes into the right speaker. So you can hear it's right there and we take the other analog delay and patch it into the left speaker. What we do now is we get a stereo field to it. What we can do is we take this output signal and patch it into a mixer, different mixer, and so that we can add some more waveforms. This is the same, it's just as we had before, but now we have the ability to add some more uh, waveforms. So I take this blue lantern module, I like it quite a lot. It's, um, let's take the double saw, patch it into the blue lantern filter, and take it out the low pass. I like it quite a lot. I need a longer cable. So now, let's take that, that signal away, so you can hear the analog delays, they sound really good, it's BBD delays. Okay, so here's the, this one. So we can hear now is the, the feedback of these oscillators, they, of the, excuse me, these uh, analog delays. And I, we have a mod modulation, so as I take a sine wave going into the modulation so we get the much fuller and richer sound and then the cut off frequency so you get some nice overtones and then we patch up some more oscillators let's take it up here to this filter there this is a WMD filter. And patch this one in here as well. So now, this one sounds just like that. We have some nice overtones there. And then we take another... It's not an overtone, it's just <laughs> what it sounds like. And then we add yet another one. This is this oscillator. Patch it into the WMD as well. Change the frequency and the resonance. And then what we do is we take one low frequency oscillator, patch it into an attenuator. You can see it's a, it's going it's a has a rather low frequency oscillation. We patch from the attenuator, we let it pass into the cut of frequency of the <coughs> of the filter to the right channel now it gets some more modulation and then we take we can take this one here change the waveform low frequency oscillator and put it in here I've got this one doesn't need to pass through uh, and an attenuator because <laughs> it has attenuation on the module, but never mind. So now we have the frequency going up and down there, and we have the frequency going up and down there with this one. And so we add some more, uh, some of the other frequency coming from 
on this one, remember? So now it sounds like this. It's a pretty interesting um, drone there. And then we take take back all these yellow cables. The yellow um, coming from these two oscillators and this filter. And everything passes through these analog delays right now. So we high end that one. That's the bass frequency. Higher the high pitched sound. Can higher the free uh, sound here too. And then we want to add the blue lantern modules. Now what we we'll want to do is to take this signal here, low frequency oscillator, it's an inverted saw, patch it in there, uh, I multiply the signal, patch it into the wet CV control here, nothing happens as of yet, and then we take the same, patch it into the other speaker analog delay you can hear it modulates the wet signal it's a bit too much I think so let's take a bit less and then lower the signal of this one and then take in this one as well it's the other speaker basically This could be pretty good to have at the end of a found some patch cables on the floor. Cables everywhere, as usual. And so we can add some some this is a dig digital delay, but we could add it. Let's add some some more di digital effects. This is a reverb. Some more a delay and uh, a gate uh, reverb. No, that's the pitch shift. It's just it's a slight pitch shift and the gate reverb. And so we have this drone patch. Add the low frequency, take out the blue lantern module, take away the... And then we can play around. passing through that. So yeah, that's basic, quite simple, <laughs> well, simple enough, drone patch, which I happen to record on one uh, demo, which is very occult and so forth. Okay, uh, it's not released as of yet, but it's pretty much the same as I did on that one, though <laughs> this one sounds pretty good. Okay, thanks a lot, bye.